Hello, I'm Michael Finn, Holistic Exercise and Lifestyle Coach, and this is going to be the full descriptive version of my single arm fly on a Swiss ball. Alright, so we want our ball to be big enough to where when we're sitting on top of it, our hip is either at our knee level or higher, just like mine is here. Okay, if it's sunk down too much, um, it's not necessarily the best option for making the core nice and stable and strong, although it does kind of give you a little bit of a decline kind of version of it, but I really don't like that so much. Um, all right, so once we're sitting up here on the ball, I'm gonna have one weight in my left hand. I'm gonna walk my feet out forward and lay back on the ball as I'm walking all the way out forward to where now my shoulders, neck, and head are all supported on top of the ball and they're all, my neck is straight. So I'm not all crunched forward and I'm not having my head hang off the back of the ball either so that everything's flat. I have my hips pushed up towards the ceiling so that I'm flat just like a tabletop all across the front of me. Okay, so that I'm using my glutes to hold everything up, my belly button's in, my low abs are on, so that everything's going to be uh, flat. All right, my left hand is straight up towards the ceiling, my whole left arm with that weight in it is straight up towards the ceiling and my right hand is on my right hip. The right arm can basically go wherever you want it to go. If you want it out to the side, that's fine. If you just want it hanging down to your, right by your hip, that's fine too. But I tend to just put mine on my right hip. All right, then I'm gonna inhale and I'm gonna take that left arm straight out to my left side. So it's going straight out to my left shoulder and then I'm gonna exhale and I'm gonna bring it all the way back up on top or straight up from my shoulder, okay? Now you could do this on a bench too. I like doing it on a ball because I have to be the bench basically. So my core has to work. All the muscles in my back and my abdomen all have to be on to hold this ball still, including my hamstrings. All sorts of things have to work and stabilize. And because I'm on a ball that wants to move, I'm getting a rotational force that I'm having to resist against by doing this particular exercise. So we're going to inhale, take that arm out to the side, exhale, bring it all the way back up to straight up towards the ceiling, inhale, take it all the way out to the side, exhale, come all the way back up to the ceiling. Now, when you come out to the side, just go as far as it's comfortable for you. Try to let that shoulder blade come in towards the spine a little bit and then pull it all the way back up towards the ceiling. All right. So don't get crazy with the range of motion. I pretty much just go to where my arm's about parallel to the ground, and then I come back up from there. All right, and that is our single arm fly while we are on the Swiss ball, okay? If you've got questions, reach out. Always subscribe, hit the little bell. You can find me over on Instagram with some crazy exercises too at michaelfinn490. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Have a happy and healthy day.